Hello, uh, this is a tutorial for how to create the split screen layout on our Lovelick WordPress theme. And uh, this is our online demo and home split screen is right here. And the first screen is a, a left side is a header area, heading is meant with uh, some introduction text and the right section is a, just a background image with the hover is a grayscale. I default this grayscale and if I hover over it in the background the image will uh, display with the colors and if I scroll down and the layout actually opposite it and oh, if I scroll once more one more and then uh, layouts will be look, uh, display like this okay let's edit this page okay if I edit this page and then we have a home split screen pages right here and the default WordPress editor area is actually empty and we don't need to use this area okay uh, first important thing is a uh, you need to choose the template page template to must be the split screen template we have one page template and also magazine and also post screen and the default templates if you created the new page and then the default page template is uh, applied and if you want to create a split screen then you must choose this template and after you have chosen the split page template and then uh, bottom of this page and we have a split screen settings are right here the first one is a left side and uh, in this section is displaying the first in this paragraph right uh, in this heading actually if I edit this and uh, this left section is come from the content block content block section uh, we have custom created before with the split screen left number one and split screen left number one is right here and I am actually editing we need to switch the backend editor and this will enable you to install composer Okay, if I edit the heading elements, this is just the, uh, our heading element and you can change the any text or any subtitle, any main title. And if you notice right here and the styling has a 20 pixel uh, gap with the left and right and also the custom class. And if you notice right here and we have used the UK merging after class uh, this is uh, coming from the UE kit because we have our name was built in a UE kit UI kit framework and one more important thing is you should click the row area and the row setting has a height pull screen is actually no the content width is a small one and the container padding top and bottom options right here and uh, other options are just empty you know okay that this is a split screen left layout, left number one okay if we, we need to close this and if i edit this right area and then i have created the split screen right number one because it's a display in the right section and uh, this is the only image and if I edit the row the row actually inserted the only image the one important thing is you should check the custom class because uh, we have used in, uh, uh, in default the uh, image is a uh, gray scale and if I hover over it and then background the image color is displaying with the colors and uh, if you remove this class and then this section is gonna display the default background image colors with the colors okay the the logic behind the split screen is working like this and if you want to add more layout slides actually you need to click this and this is gonna duplicate your uh, very bottom of the last section and okay uh, it's just example I we need uh, I will delete this slide and uh, that's it and uh, that's how our split screen works and 
you need to create the content blocks first and then you need to assign it right here and you can insert any content any custom created uh, content blocks in this section but uh, split screen layout is a bit complicated because it displaying it on the half of the page and then you need to consider this and you need to uh, check our online demo and after you have inputted our online uh, dummy data and then all of those pages and the split screen layouts will be inputted on your local machine or website and then you should check these options and play around any section of this okay that's it